So we want to move on to the first part uh, of, the, of the program. We're going to dive into the planning and update on the project plan. And for this, we have Flora with us. So over to you, Flora. Thank you, Lynn. Good morning to everybody. Thank you for the nice greeting um, from you, from George, and also in the chat from the participants. Um, so um, I think, as George mentioned, we have already met uh, two times, and uh, since uh, we met in this composition the previous time, lots of things happened. Uh, the, the counterparty testing was open. Some of you um, are already uh, testing. Some might have not started or not in full scope, but you know much more about the system now than, than you knew last time when we have met. So what happened is when um, during the summer, then the counterpart in the community testing kicked in, then um, of course we were closely following the, the progress, also the market infrastructure board um, in the Euro system, which is the system owner committee for ECMS. We were following the progress, um, the, the software stabilization, the testing progress, all the efforts of the stakeholders and uh, the, the buffer time that we had. And um, then if we go to the first page, then we reach uh, the, uh, the important decision that happened during autumn is that the governing council decided that um, the users need more time to complete the testing of the ECMS functionalities and to do that in a stable environment. So um, following the assessment by the, the market infrastructure board, then um, the launch date has been rescheduled. And it is scheduled now to 18th November uh, 2024. Um, we consider that this additional time will ensure greater system stability and uh, a higher level of, of user readiness, which is very important since we have a, a big bank migration. And then all this will facilitate um, a smooth, smooth migration to the new platform, a longer time available for testing and, and um, uh, rehearsing the, the migration. The new launch date also meant a new plan, so a new project plan, a more detailed replanning followed by all the stakeholders and, and all the work streams. Some of these work streams are, are not visible to you. What is visible or the most visible and the most important to you is the, um, is the testing and the rescheduling exactly mainly affected the timing and the length of the testing phases and uh, the planned migration past the point in time when they are happening and the number of these migration tests. Um, it, it will enable uh, the new plan, the actors, to support the various testing stages and activities in parallel because um, the NCBs and many stakeholders, they act in, in multiple roles. They are also testing on their own behalf, but they are also supporting the community, vice versa. The CSDs can also support the NCBs in certain migration activities, testing or, um, or uh, do their own preparation for the, uh, for the goal live. So the, the goal was that all these parallel activities, they are happening more efficiently uh, with, with more ease and, and more um, uh, assurance. Um, the Euro system, of course, will continue to support the users throughout the testing execution phase. And then we would like to ensure that, that sufficient progress is made and then all the milestones are, are reached um, uh, uh, on time. If we go to the next slide, then, um, I gathered here a few points. Uh, what was behind the consideration when we created, when we designed the new, the new project plan? The goal was to optimize the testing plan available, as I mentioned, for the community and to perform all the functional testing and uh, migration testing with uh, full scope and with uh, CLM and T2S interconnection. So as George mentioned, um, some uh, abbreviations are there, but some of you might know ECMS um, is um, operating with a large ecosystem and CLM and T2S, the payment system and the uh, security settlement system is very important for the end-to-end -end testing. So in order to, to do full end-to-end -end testing, we have to ensure also this connectivity, connection and um, Sometimes we will be connected, we can be connected to, to CLM and T2S without disturbing their own operations or their own um, necessities. But in some other times, we were not granted this access and then they have to, these systems have to be replaced by a simulator. This resulted in the fact that the community testing phase was, um, kind of was split into several phases. And indeed, these phases are according to the connection to CLM and T2S or not. The community testing phase was also planned with bigger blocks of functionalities, 
because um, we felt and we listened to the request that during the summer, maybe the staggered approach with the smaller packages uh, to be released to the testers was not optimal. So we were striving for having uh, bigger packages and, um, and, uh, and releasing them in less in shorter point in time. Then the migration tests, which, which were extended, so we have more than before, then they were positioned um, after the key user testing milestone, so to ensure better testing conditions. We also have production activities um, on, on the production platform, not on the testing platforms, and the goal was there to have uh, better or same conditions, so we have the same duration for these activities as in the previous project plan, but uh, the go no go decision is six weeks before go live um, in contrast to four as we had before. All this was also coming from lesson learned, so the experiences we have gained in the previous project in consolidation, um, for example. Same way, based on the lesson learned from previous project, the stabilization period was, was also extended. So these are the considerations behind behind the new uh, the new project plan and then all this is uh, depicted here visually uh, what what would that mean you can see the upper part of the plan is is the eurosystem acceptance environment that is for the ncbs for the ecb for the ncbs and uh, for the CSDs, and then if you are a counterparty or a bank, then uh, you are interested in the, the lower part of the, the picture, which is the pre-production environment, depicting these phases that I mentioned are, are split according to, to connection time or not, which are um, shown with dotted lines. Well, this will be explained in detail by, by Bobby and Bamini in the next presentation, so they will go into the details of the testing plan or zoom in to the, to the upcoming months and what is, what is important for, for the upcoming milestones. I will focus more on, on, on other parts of the, the project plan as well. A little bit you see in the lower part, there is also the readiness work stream. What is important um, for the success of the, the Big Bang migration is that we also gather intelligence. We also know about your status and then you report about that. Uh, we have a community readiness framework, a reporting framework that is based on, on cycles. So we are looking forward to receiving um, this information from the, from the community from all the, the relevant countries. And this will happen in, in June and September. Why in June and September? Because uh, with the replanning, uh, we also rationalized this, this reporting. We get lots of information from you um, on the testing status regularly, and we wanted to reduce the burden on you for this, for this uh, reporting. So, Whatever we get and receive in the reporting, in the framework of the testing reporting, uh, we will not ask it again in the framework of the community testing reporting, and then we will focus on the milestones that don't appear in the testing reports. So there will be two upcoming cycles only. This is less than how we planned before. This will be in, with a cutoff in June and with a cutoff in, in September. If we go to the next slide that you can also see which milestones I am speaking about for this community readiness reporting. You have seen this uh, picture, I think, many, many times, so I would not like to go through again. Um, you are in around the middle, in the middle of the, the, the picture. It's not proportionate to, to time. What, what is important is that um, around Around this time now, uh, beginning of the year, then uh, we assume that the internal staff training has completed. As, as George mentioned, we, we set the basis for that by our own internal training also, we, according to this train the trainer concept. So we hope that also on, uh, on CSD, TPA and counterparty side, also the training of internal staff has been completed um, nowadays. And then um, on top of the testing, we have the production activities. Then also there are other work streams like operational readiness. So I, I assume in all the stakeholders, as in the Euro system and in the ECB also, you are um, updating your internal manuals, your internal processes, and that are very late, I mean, close to go or go decision. There is a deadline set for this to complete that, the adaptation of the operational procedures. Um, Apart from that, there are certain contractual and legal obligations that we all have to meet. So the related documentation and everything, the rules have to be also adapted. Pre-migration activity completion also falls for, for September 24. And uh, 
all from these milestones, I would like to focus a little bit on the uh, production activities. If we go to the um, to the next slide, it's um, you will find more information about this also in our information material, which is on the website. But to explain a bit, this is everything that happens on the production environment. So previous graph was more about the testing environments, and this is for the production environment. Um, in the new plan, the connectivity setup that was supposed to happen in, in autumn in the previous plan will start in April. This is from April to June, the connectivity setup and, and execution. And then after that, uh, from the end of the summer, it's already with the, with the setup of um, reference data in preparation for the Bonobo decision, the pre-migration activity starts um, going towards the go no go decision, which is, which is meant for uh, 4th of October. So this is the plan for the production environment. Put it in your own project plan as well. I'm sure you have done already. If we go to the last slide, then um, some references, how we help your work, also your planning and preparation and readiness for the, uh, for the ECMS Go Live. Uh, we gathered here the most relevant publications. Bamini and Bobby will mention also further publications that might be useful for testing. But what is good to know is that we created a customized version for the strategy, migration and testing strategy, the tour, the terms of reference for the pre-production environments where you are uh, testing, and also for the fundamental test cases, these are available. Then on top of these uh, strategy of conceptual documents, there are also a couple of um, explainers or um, information um, documents, which is, for example, the explainer on the business configuration, um, then the, the business rules in ECMS and the status codes, that is the status codes in ECMS, and of course, uh, the catalog of messages for those testing in A2A, that's also very important. For all these deliverables, if there is an update required, then we will do so in the course of this year or towards the last quarter of the, or the second quarter, sorry, of the year. And then for sure, towards the end of the year for the Go-Live, we will create also a Go-Live version. So please browse our website for the information items or contact your NCB, and then we uh, will also know if there is uh, any material missing or information. So I think that was from from my side for the for the uh, for the planning and the project plan.